So, I've done a few things to this bike and the few things I've done means that I have to reassess what I've given this bike at a 10 and as it stands now. So, let's start with the obvious or more to the point, the not so obvious. You probably, if you haven't seen this before, this is a 112 foot climb in a third of a mile. So this is quite steep and we're gonna try an experiment, which I know is gonna work, although I haven't tried it out yet, but I've done the math. So let's give it a go, let's, let's go. Let's see what happens, all right? So off we go. This is a really horrible hill. It's one of the steepest around by me. And to be fair, if you want an electric bike, it needs to be able to get up hills. The old point of the assistance is to be able to get you up hills. And this thing's proved before that this thing can get up hills. We're trying a different thing today. So let's give this a go, because this is going to be interesting. And I think it's exciting. I really do think it's exciting. So we're going to pull over shortly, just up here. You can see somebody on an analog bike over there, look, going up the hill. I just want to give you some context to how steep this hill is. So let's stop here. So that's how steep this hill is. It's a one, it's a 15% hill climb. And it runs for a, to the top about a third of a mile. So as you can see, if we look down there, that's what I've just come up. If we look up there, that's what I've got to get up. It's quite a steep thing. So I'm back on the bike. Here we go again. Um, I don't know if any of you have noticed yet, but let's go. This is a horrible hill and it's not the best to well it's probably the best to demonstrate what well, morning probably the best to demonstrate what I'm on about but it's still a horrible hill like I said 15% rise that's a hell of a steep hill and it's one of the steepest round here but I used to see, I have no problems getting up it. From a standing start on a 15% hill, over a third of a mile. Any of you got it yet? Anyone? Some of you are probably shouting at the screen. I didn't use my throttle because I haven't got one. I've taken it off. And instead of a throttle, I've got an 11.34 rear, rear freewheel on it. And then it's highest gear, it can move me up this 15% hill and it's, it's brilliant. It's legal. I've no throttle on my bike and I don't need one. Now, I've tried it before on the normal throttle and it wouldn't move this bike i couldn't get this bike going up this hill it needed them extra teeth but now it's got those extra teeth fab all i've got to do is now flip this over to 15.5 mile an hour max speed and it's pretty much fully legal there's legal enough if you get pulled over by the police they can't do anything or they wouldn't know what to do all they know if any of them know anything is if the bike's got a throttle seize it if it's a working throttle and if the bike can go over 15.5 mile an hour using the motor they can seize it but that's a pretty hard one to to sort of work around because without a throttle 
and without him riding the bike which he doesn't know how to ride he can't test the top speed and because this is a torque sensor he's not going to be able to get it up to speed anyway what you have to remember is that a torque sensor is a throttle for your feet it's basically what it is it's a throttle for your feet so unlike the cadence sensor that you've got on your bike that takes about one and a half turns to get going and which is virtually impossible to get going on well even a five percent hill if you weigh 250 pound this works this bike is legit and what else can i say what do you want from an e-bike because there's not a copper in the land that sees this bike for testing if he can't get up to speed and there's no throttle on this e-bike and even if he weighs it it's under the max weight for an e-bike and even when i have my new battery on the back it's still under max weight and the other thing i want you to all realize is i come up that hill on four and a half inch wide tires which have a added rolling resistance because it has a bigger footprint didn't miss a beat did you notice it's fab it's the bike we all need this currently and i've said it before in my my video my review of this bike is basically engway's flagship bike it's not its most expensive i think at the moment it's only 1299 quid it's 52 volt you know it's got torque for miles it's 75 newton meters of torque and here's the other thing you might not know about the law but going down in and i'm pedaling and i'm now doing 27 and a half mile 28 mile an hour is it that's legal because the bike's propelling itself downhill as long as you don't break the speed limit it's fine it's absolutely fine so you've all seen me coming up this hill before this is another nasty hill i don't like this hill at all because this ain't far off another 15 percent grade when we get up halfway up it it's not just that but it's got bends so you're doing that with the bike to get up it which causes more resistance it's like i said it's a horrible hill but we're going to stop halfway up and then we're going to set off again you can see it from here it's just nasty so let's get halfway up this hill and then we'll have a stop and then we'll carry on riding as you can see here this is what i mean by the bend so let's get on off the road for safety there we go so let's get a little bit further up and see if it's a bit steeper up here it's horrible and we're in first gear and then we stop and here's the thing i've got my suspension open so that drives the bike further into the floor really didn't help on a test like this but give it a little shove and a little pedal and we're off let's go off the pavement and there we go into the road I was going to do this test with my trailer on but I haven't had time to fit the trailer anchor to this bike I bought another one so I've got one on my main bike that I built my second favorite bike now and I'll be able to go all over the place with a trailer on I've got a 17.5 amp hour battery coming for this um it's a slim battery and it'll be going on the rack which will put me up to 33.5 amp hours of battery i'll put the watt hours of that up on the screen now so that's what sort of range i'll have with this bike it's going to easily do 60 miles maybe more on one charge which 
to be honest, think for comfort rides, I've done some long rides. I've done an 80 mile ride and my bum was sore and it don't matter what saddle you go on, but who's gonna go more than 50 miles on a ride? It takes you most of the day, especially if you're averaging about, what, 10, 11 miles, you know what I mean, an hour? Yeah, what we've we done. Well, we swapped the free will over to an 11.34. Now that gives us much, much more teeth to actually get this bike down at a higher, get this bike down at a higher gear. And remove the throttle. And once it's restricted to 15.5 mile an hour, not that it matters because unless you get an officer riding this bike, which he won't because he doesn't know how to ride it, he's not going to be able to get up to its max speed anyway. And because it's a torque sensor, just spinning the pedals around won't cut it. So that's where we're at. Um, if only this was IP6 rated, this would be the best bike in the world. It really would. Well, it wouldn't be the best bike in the world, but it'd be definitely the best thing Angway makes and probably the best thing you buy in the UK e bike wise. Because the torque on this thing is bloody amazing. we've got rid of the throttle and it means that you might have to use the gears a bit more but that's what they're there for that's what they're there for the gears are there to give you different ratios and it works i don't mind flicking these triggers under here there none of it's difficult you know i can and it is my favorite gear setup anyway you know i hate these tombstone things that that you see on here i just don't think they look right and these quick fire triggers on here are far better and far superior but yeah so if you haven't got a 2.0 and you're thinking of getting one you'll see in the description box i can get you six percent off and it helps keep the channel going and if you watch to the end of this video you'll see a link to the full review I gave it initially and there's also a 6% off cult discount count. I think it's more than 6% I'm not sure but regardless of whether you buy one through there or whatever just buy one this by far is the best e-bike Engway's made so far it's brilliant and I'm just going to keep modding mine I've got some stuff coming as I said before, there's a 17 and a half ampere 52 volt battery going on the back. And I've got some other bits come in. My front suspension's here, my mid suspension's here. And hopefully next week, the rest of the stuff. So by the end of next week, this bike could be finished. Because I won't be doing it, I can't do anything else after that. It's probably much, pretty much done. So keep them tuned. I'll show you what I'm up to with this bike because this is my my bike I'm not I originally was going to give it away but the guy I was going to give it to took the X20 over this because he didn't like putting any effort in but with this I ain't putting much effort in anyway and it's a lovely cruiser it's a nice thing to be on it's comfortable well it is now I've changed the seat out and I've got suspension seat post on it it's really comfortable. I can do miles on this and not 
end up with a sore backside. But for a bike that was 9.5 out of the box, if I can get this to be IP, uh, IP6 rated or someone near myself, or set it to that someone near that rating, this bike's a 10 all day long. Really is a 10. And I always said I wouldn't give an e bike a 10. But if I can make this pretty much weatherproof and I can use it in all weathers, it'll blow the competition away. And it's a shame Engway keep getting it slightly wrong. But then a lot of that's down to you. Are you filling the questionnaires in that they're asking you? Because I've said all along, part of that's down to you because are you filling the questionnaires in the anguish emailing you because if you don't point to the bike that you want they're going to make the bike that they think you want so bear that in mind next time you get a questionnaire through fill it in it, it's no no skin off your back it's a couple of minutes and that's it here's the link to my full review of this e-bike if you haven't seen it, watch it. And if you don't like this e-bike, have a look down. I've reviewed other Engway e-bikes. See if there's something else in there that you might like. Have a nice day, everyone.